where did that minus sign come from? It's not supposed to be in the final answer. That doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't come from there. Maybe I started this one so long. Let's, let's try another one. Maybe that'll, that'll help me figure it out. minus sign should go away, go from minus infinity to infinity. We have a cross product and a dot product. I just don't see where that minus sign pops up. page turn operator? The... the what? <sighs> Never mind. You're too young. I don't want to corrupt you with such a foul method. The minus sign has taken many of my comrades, and many more before my time. We call them the lost ones. The lost ones? Yeah, they're the ones that never made it to a thesis. There's a memorial. Many have fell to the minus sign. It has taken more than even the qualifier. There's remnants of some of them here who haven't even made it to the memorial. Come, walk with me. Have you read the obituary about Sam Porter? Sam Porter? You thought she finally cracked cold fusion. But there was an extra minus sign in her thesis that she didn't catch. The machine or an experimental crew went to go turn on the cold fusion device. What they thought would be an exponential decay to an equilibrium energy was actually an exponential growth in thermal energy. They didn't even catch the minus sign until they turned the device on. 
but he fried them. Right there, that smudge, we think is all that's left of her. The day before she was gonna defend her thesis too. What a shame. Then there's Ben Gibson. His mentor decided that it was time for him to publish an article with him as the lead author. Lead author? That's awesome. Not quite. See, there were some transcription errors in the printing process. Got through the peer review phase and everything, but then when it finally came out, you can see there, there's a negative value of temperature in Kelvin. Oh, no. He protested, but no one believed him it was a typo. The editor of the journal denied it, he lost his RA funding, and his mentor disowned him. And now he walks around with a bag over his head whenever he enters a college town with a strong science program. He's been reduced to teaching science history. Science history? Yeah, he couldn't even get hired as a math teacher because no one trusts him with numbers anymore. Uh, no. Actually, I heard a rumor that one time in class, he told his students that we landed on the moon on July minus 20th, 1969. Oh. So now his students will often double check it on Google whenever he gives them a date for a historical event. And worst of all, there's Old Man Warner. Old Man Warner? Yeah, he's been a grad student here for over 60 years. 60 years? He spent the last 55 years looking for a minus sign in his derivation, and he still hasn't found it. Oh, God. Yeah, he became so obsessed that his wife and children left him, and not having a full-time job, he lost his house, so. Now he just lives here, out of his office. We're not really sure how he's funding himself either, but if you sit here into odd hours of the night, there's a non-zero probability you might see him to come out to get food. There are more lost ones I could tell you about later, but don't worry. Nothing like that ever happens to students like you. Down. You'll find the sign. Have a good life.
give this another go. Do this. So we start with a foil with a position. Or just been a dream. Oh. Oh. Watch. Oh. I need a cup of tea. Back at it again today. We're going to do this. sign get there. <laughs> 